All right, everyone, we are back. Welcome to Fuel Empire or Fossil.Bronco, depending on where you're seeing this. But got some updates on the Bronco. You can see that it is uh, wrapped now. I haven't really showed off the wrap too much um, on YouTube, at least, but um, it is on the social channels. But what I wanted to highlight today was the sub install that I just got done. Um, I did not do the installation myself, but I did um, buy all the components and had a shop install them all for me. So. I just didn't want to mess with it myself, but let me show you guys what I got going on. And then I'll play a little demo for you. Right now the top is off. It's been off for quite a while. As you can see uh, protruding in the back of the vehicle is my sub box. This is a Fox Acoustics box that I picked up for, uh, I, want, I think, $500 straight from Fox Acoustics. It's made to order. And this one is for... The 212 setup. So I have two Kicker Comp Q 12s in here along with a 3600 watt amp. It's 1800 watt RMS and it's a lot of power. Even with the top off, this thing bumps harder than any system I've ever owned and I've owned quite a few. So it's saying a lot. But this is just the install right here. This is the whole thing. You'll see there's no amp under there because. I had the amp installed in the wall here. So the factory sub is gone along with the amp uh, plate and everything and the, and the amp that's in there. In, in its place is a custom amp install board. Um, I'll show a picture of that and then also the amp itself, of course, with some very, very clean wiring. And you'll see under here, my 212s are down firing. So it's a Kicker CXA 1800.1 amp, so 1800 watts for the RMS, which matches up with these subs perfectly. These are uh, 850 watt um, RMS subs. So being able to push 3600 watts to these bad boys is important, but I never plan on going to 100% gain. Um, I sit at about 80% gain when I'm being very, very bassy. If I want it to just be a normal, good sounding, well-balanced system, than about 20% gain but the the thing is uh, even at 80 at 80% at there's a factory mids and highs on the front so at 80% it really is unbalanced It's not a crazy balanced uh, setup like that so running 20% makes it a bit more balanced so this is the back. Uh, the back of the box comes with uh, these banana clip um, ports here, which is awesome because uh, I'm also having him um, install a banana clip port on the side of, I don't know if you can see in there, on the sidewall here. That way, when I want to remove this thing for cargo, I can do so. But having the whole cargo floor is very nice. It's very cool. This thing doesn't take up any of the cargo floor, so I can actually still put a full coat of, cart of groceries in here. A coat of groceries. But yeah, you can see the uh, install he did is very clean. I'm going to show you the, uh, the power wire install, too, in the front. But he did a very good job. By he, I mean Evolution Garage. I believe it's a single owner installer company. All right, underneath the hood, I've got a 150 amp fuse block installed here. And the zero gauge wiring is uh, sheathed the entire way back. So it's wrapped, goes through the firewall there. You can see between the battery and the thing over there. That's where it goes through the firewall and uh, straight to the amp. And it is a super clean looking install. Um, I have zero complaints about the installation on this, so. All right, so right now I'm sitting at about, uh, what volume? Eight. Keep in mind too, if you hear any clipping, I'm using a DJI uh, handheld, um, whatever, the, I mean, it's, it's picking up on the microphone through here, so there may be clipping if it's not representative in person. volume right there out of 
out of 30 and this track is not the hardest hitting track I have either so it's a uh, it's pretty good I'm gonna give it another another bump here I'm gonna go to 30 with it there's somebody sitting in their car over there eating lunch so I'm trying not to disturb them too much but it's pretty crazy all right here we go to 30 So yeah, that's uh, that's the extent of it, and that's the upgrade to the system that I've done. I I love it. My next upgrade, I think, is going to be changing out these factory speaker pods with some SSV pods and some kickers in there. But everything is going to be kicker, um, except the wiring. It's an iConnect uh, iConnect zero gauge kit for the wiring, but that's fine by me. I don't care about the wiring so much. I just want my components and everything to be good. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah.